one topic that always drops in almost all Y exams that I've observed is you can be sure of getting your grade A1 if you are going to master the topics I'm going to mention in these videos. I'm not just going to mention the topics, but I'm going to show you where to get them from to study by yourself if you have not mastered them yet. As I always say on this channel, you don't need to study everything to get your grade A1. Now, because of our integrated sciences, most students even find it difficult to know where to start from. Now, there's something you need to know about integrated science. It's made up of the biology aspects, the physics aspects, the chemistry aspects, and then there is the environmental science. Now, all of these I've mentioned are branches in integrated science, and there are some topics that always drop under these. When you take time to master them, you are going to get your grade A1. Now, before I start or show you the topics, there's something you also need to be aware of, that the practical aspect, you are going to have to have some knowledge on how to draw a graph, how to find the gradient, how to interpret the graph. So to make things very easier and faster, go to your past question. You should be able to solve at least five questions on the graph work under different topics. Now you are leaving no stone unturned. So if you can go beyond the five, go beyond it because you are not now going to practice in the exam. Another thing about the practical aspect is you are always going to have diagrams and these diagrams are going to have questions under them. So if you have your test book, go through it. Go through the test book, make sure you are conversant with all the diagrams. I mean, everything. You can label the parts, you can see something about the parts. And if possible, you should be able to draw some of the diagrams that are in the test book. Now to the topics, and I'll start with the biology aspect. Now with the biology aspect, you have to master all the body systems. The next thing under the biology is genetics and variation. You should be conversant with the definitions and also how to draw the diagram to match the alleles. Now to the physics aspect. One topic that always drops in almost all Y exams that I've observed is electrical energy. You should be conversant with the definitions, the calculations, calculation for potential difference, current, as well as resistance, and then also power. Power also comes in. You should be able to draw your electrical circuits and then the circuit symbols. And also, sometimes you do have questions on the circuit diagram in the practicals. So get used to that as well. You should be able to do readings on instruments that are used to measure. For example, when you're given a top arm balance, how to, how to do the reading of the mass. And there are a lot of instruments that are used in measurement. Just go through your past question and then know them. Also, with the physics, know everything that has to do with calculation. All topics under physics on calculation, you should master them because <laughs> you always get a question on calculation. It's, it's it's something that is for sure. For chemistry, you have your organic chemistry, and that is where you have your alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and so on. Then inorganic chemistry, naming of compounds, balancing of equations, and then also you have more concepts. Master these topics. You're always going to get them. Then the last but not the least is agriculture. With agriculture, animal production, crop production, and then your farming systems. But environmental science, anything that has to do with global warming and problems that are facing the environment has to do with diseases, pests, and so on. Now, if you want to know more about how to solve integrated science questions, kindly click on the video floating on the screen.